All right, guys, so today we are putting in the rear height adjusters on the E46 M3. This is a rear height adjuster. It goes between the rear spring and the body to adjust the height. Um, because I think that this car is a little too low and I want to jack it up. All right? I want a little more play there, a little more clearance, a little more travel. So that's what we're doing today. Let's do it. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, as I understand it, is we're gonna take off this lower shock mount here, be able to drop the suspension, pull out the spring, Put this between the spring and the body, adjust the preload, and then adjust the shock and bolt it back on. Check the height. I think. So here's our spring. Um, I think that's a 12,000 pound spring. So that'll drop in there. And then we'll start adjusting the height. So to start with, I'm going to leave a little gap just so I can mess with it. Alright, there is the assembled spring. Alright, let's see if I can do this and stay out of your way. There we go. Easy peasy. Now it gets a little tricky. So the way I understand this to work is I lower the car, put a floor jack under the suspension, and give it just enough pressure. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so what I've done here is jack it just to the point where there's resistance against the jack. Um, and you see how the shock or the spring is seated nice and firmly. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Now I'm taking a guess on the ride height right now. It'll only be after I put the wheels and tires on the car and lower it do we really see what we've got. Because this adjuster is adding almost an inch by itself so it might be too much um, but we'll see so now what I'm gonna do is jack it about 10 millimeters more to set preload on the spring adjust this so that these two holes line up sound right we'll see Just a tip if you're ever doing this yourself, loosen the lock ring on the suspension before you unbolt it. Alright, I want to torque everything down when we're done, but right now I'm going to release this, go do the other side, put the wheels and tires on, and see what we're working with.
Man, that's way too high. I think I'm gonna get lunch and figure out how to fix this. I'm so close to having this car done. I'm excited. Um, just some finishing touches. Let me show you what's going on. This is where I'm at with the rear ride height right now. A little too much of a gap. So we're gonna lower it just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is adjust this so it's all the way at the top and reinstall them. Looks like it'll only get me about a quarter inch of clearance, but I'll take what I can get. And it's in. on this ride height. It's perfect. Nice. 